guys, Diamond Rice here coming at you with another video. In today's video, we'll ask the age-old question for Mac versus PC. Now let's see what we're gonna have here. I have two latest current operating systems right now. I have Windows 10 and also El Capitan, which is OS X version 10.11.4 is what I'm currently running right now. So now we have here, let's go to the benchmarks. This is gonna be the same PC, same specs you saw before, but now we're on two different operating systems and their respective game engines. Basically, we have either OpenGL versus DirectX. So we can see some disparities. I can see it maybe happening but let's see now on to the benchmarks There you guys have it. For general multi-purpose use, both operating systems run respectively well, especially in the synthetic benchmarks. Uh, Geekbench and Cinebench are basically neck and neck. Uh, obviously, there's a few disparity between points, but they're pretty much neck and neck. They're about the same for the same amount of performance. Obviously, during the gaming, well, that's a different story. Now we have different variables to come into play and such. And it looks like DirectX 11, obviously going to be DX12 later on in a couple couple months with the games come out, has has an overarching lead over OpenGL to certain games at least, especially. Especially for example, Tomb Raider 2013, that one actually has the OpenGL winning to a certain extent in average FPS. For the actual max FPS though, DirectX obviously is still winning, but, but there's a lot more options, there's a lot more continuity that you can have for gaming though. So if you're playing for gaming, I mean, you can probably still use both platforms, but I would obviously prefer the Windows because they will probably get the gaming first, at least for the gaming. But all the games and the platforms will come to that first before it comes to uh, Mac OS X at least. OpenGL has gone a long way too. I've seen it actually, I remember seeing it in its infancy a long time ago, a couple years ago, but now it looks like it's, it's coming along well in OS X and it's definitely a good way for having some gaming benchmarks, especially multi-platform, especially since it's also on Linux and also on all these other platforms as well. So I'm going to see you guys later. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Later. Later.